Good evening. Members of the community rallied in solidarity for the continued funding of child care services in the state's budget. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Lizignoli. And I'm Mark McPherson. Governor Tony Evers proposed $340 million to go directly to child care that will pre be presented before the Joint Finance Committee. NBC15's Cameron Kelly spent the afternoon at the Goodman Center Community Center to hear more from lawmakers, teachers, and parents. Cameron? That's right, Maria and Mark. May 8th is National Day Without Child Care. And I'll tell you a little bit about that. It's a day to highlight the importance of child care services. Today, the Goodman Center did just that by not only shining a light on the parents that need help, but also the teachers who provide care, support, and love to kids every day. It's just really, really emotional about this. It's, 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 it's very very important to me. After school lead teacher Maddie Fagerlin says child care providers are teachers, playmates, and second families to many kids. We have to respect the people who take care of other people. They're, we have not been valued and that's really frustrating. She says many of her friends who are teachers have walked away due to short staff and being underpaid. And I wish that our legislature would understand the importance of, of what we do in this industry and what we provide. State Representative Lisa Subic says the governor has already helped so many families during the pandemic. He enabled 3,300 child care centers to stay open, retained over 22,000 qualified staff, and cared for in high quality care 113,000 kids statewide. Senator Melissa Agard says the current state funds for child care are set to expire in 2024. Without the extension of this vital program and the critical funding that it provides for child care providers, the kids and families across Wisconsin, the reality of a day without child care will become an everyday reality. Democratic lawmakers say they are hopeful the GOP realizes the impact this budget has on families across the state. Yeah, this is a big issue. Other organizations and parents are speaking up right now. And Cameron, you also spoke with a mom who says that their child after school program is pretty important. Yes, Bree Brewington, she tells me that she became a widow when her child was in kindergarten. As a single mom, she desperately needed a safe place that allowed her to get her child to after hours while she worked. Through other parents, she learned Wisconsin Youth Company held an after-school program. Burrington says during the pandemic, when she wasn't using the program, she gave back to the people who helped her family. When we were home, um, I was able to take the money I wasn't spending on that after-school program and redonate it because that's how much I knew I needed that program to come back. Brewington also tells me programs like Wisconsin Youth Company feels like co-parenting. She says it brings her ease knowing her child continues to grow intellectually outside of the classroom. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15 News.